Hello everybody, and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be playing The Outer Wilds. Now I know I did just start up a gameplay of The Witcher, but um, I don't know, I've been looking for a long time to find a new game. Uh, it's been like a really long time since I found a game that I just like genuinely enjoy, and this game keeps popping up on like my recommended on Steam and everything, so I figured I would give it a shot here in this video. Now, um, as as for The Witcher, I don't know how much I'm going to be uploading videos of that. Um, basically, this, this video is basically just going to be like a trial run for The Outer Wilds, see if it's a game that I think I'm going to enjoy, see if it's a game that I think I'm going to enjoy recording. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll get into it. I don't really know anything about this game. Like, everybody says it's such an amazing adventure game, but everybody's like very anti-spoilers on this game, so I don't really know much about it. Um, I just know it's about like exploring space, and also if you're not wanting to have the game spoiled for you, um, I don't know. You guys know me. I probably won't get to the end to get to the more spoilery parts, but um, I don't know. You might want to play the game before you watch this video, but if if not, then let's let's dive into this adventure. I'm really excited. Let's see what happens. So I don't know how much of a game this is gonna be like. I don't I don't know anything about this. All I hear is it's like really fun, really cool discovery adventure game. Um, and that, that's what I've been really looking for in like a game for a long time because the last game I played that I think I genuinely enjoyed just like the amount of discovery and things like that is uh, Breath of the Wild which I actually just recently played like uh, maybe like five or six months ago when I first bought my Switch finally. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This game sounds really fun so I'm excited to play it. Let's see what happens. It's loading, so they got that going for us. Oh, looks like we gotta wake up. Oh, we're into the gameplay. Uh, let me see if actually I can turn... Sorry about that little break there. I just wanted to turn down the settings a little bit just to uh, uh, make it a little more less, less laggy. <laughs> um, but alright, let's talk to Slate. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's lunch day, eh? Seems like you're only, only yesterday you joined our space program. Suddenly, here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You, f you sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was the only problem, one time. Wait, that was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get to the launch codes from Hornfels in the observatory before you can just lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Alright, uh, let's go get the launch codes. Okay, that is not where we're gonna go. Alright, see what... Okay, looks like we can... Can we jump? Oh, hold and release. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta like, put some power into your jump. I see how this is. Uh, is this guy Hornfells? Mika. Let's talk to her. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna get, get into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Sure. <laughs> that sounds fun. Alright, horizontal thrust. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> this is this is difficult to control. Um, let's reset that. Alright, uh... Okay, cool. Oh, okay, yeah. That's better, I guess. It's still pretty difficult to control. Um, alright. Let's see. Oh, god. This is... This is... Alright. We're gonna try this one more time. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright. There we go. Why does it... Ah, oh, jeez. 
Okay, <laughs> we'll just try out the real thing, see what the hell happens. Uh, Alright, let's try to find the launch codes. This game is really beautiful looking. Is this Hornfells? Porphy. Hey yo, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and ghosts and open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are far too far away. Another metaphor ruined by scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Alright, um, still looking for Hornfells. Is this Horn... Rutile. You're actually blasting off in that thing? They really don't explode as often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Micah's model rockets, themed as things seem to burn down to the ground here more than they used to. I don't know why I can't read today, or any days really. Satellite camera. This projector is linked to the Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Earth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. All right. Oh, cool. This is. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I guess. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, do I need to grab any supplies or anything? Nah, uh, it looks like I just need to get the launch codes, but... This guy, Hornfells. Marl. Alright, maybe I should just try to find Hornfells. Gneese. <laughs> Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving for the crater today. If you meet any other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Just saying hi before I leave. Take care of yourself in space. Alright, uh... Hornfells. Where you be at, though? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe... What if he was just, like, at the place that we started at? And, uh... Galania? Tephra. You guys know where Hornfells be? <laughs> Anybody? Uh, Hornfells. This is Hornfells, right? Nope, that's Sifno. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, first day I'm playing, guys. <laughs> um, but I guess, I guess might as well just explore around here while we're trying to find my guy. I don't know. This is really nice looking. All right. Uh, see if he's up here. And Hornfells, Acros, Geez. Uh, the Zero G Cave. That sounds fun. Let's try this out. Go, son. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. N nerves are getting the better of you? Uh, I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good. Everyone should be a bit nervous before going into space. I get cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. That's not what Slate says. Oi, you better know... You know better than to believe a word that lunatic says about me. There's still store. I made them install a safety harness in the cockpit. Claimed it would throw off the thrust to weight ratio. Honestly, one of these days I'm going to throw Slate off the threat to thrust to weight ratio. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero-G cave in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little fast minute zero G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident. It's just so you can make ship repairs in space. <laughs> One repaired satellite coming up. Cool, let's get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Alright. <laughs> Big bet. Um Alright, looks like we're gonna be doing a little bit of side questing before we're able to head off into space. Which I'm cool with, because, I don't know, I don't know anything about this game, so might as well just try to, uh, try to figure things out. Alright, ooh, yeah, zero G's for shizzle. Looks like we're just jumping in any direction, and, uh, we're floating around there. Alright, zero G cave, zero G cave. <laughs> zero G cave, zero G cave. Alright, oh, we got... The do we got our thrusters? Okay, cool. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so... Where do we go from here? Anywhere? I don't know. 
Oh, looks like we gotta manage our fuel and everything too. <laughs> Lame. I don't wanna manage anything while I'm playing a video game. <laughs> um, alright. Let's tr Oh, we gotta go up there. Gotcha. Oh, looks like we got a guy here. Hello? Tough. Hey, nice of you to drop down. I'm getting in some zero-g time. So you're going in there? In the cave? <laughs> what? No, I'm fine. Great. Great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know, I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Phew. Now I've got hand sweats. Alright. Uh, and I wonder what's down here. It could be so spooky. Alright. Let's, let's float down. Oh, jeez. This... It's a little bit... Alright, looks like we're gonna have to use our downward thrust. Oop! Ah, ah. Go up, go up, go up! Uh, is this a satellite right here? Looks like it. Alright, this is gonna take a bit of use getting control and... Uh, hold. Let's get a little closer. Hold. Match velocity. Oh, hold extra repair. Got it. Oh. Alright, cool. Boom. Repaired. Like it ain't no thing. Alright, let's try to find... Jeez, I cannot tell which direction is up or which is down. Alright. Uh. Shoot. Alright, let's head up here. Oof. Floating up a little. Alright. Repair. Boom. This is awesome. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's such a cool idea. Just like float around in zero G. Alright, let's try to find where the last satellite is. I would believe it's on the same node or set. Oh, geez. <laughs> it's very difficult to tell which way is up and which way is down, though. That's for sure. Oh, we only got 50% of our fuel remaining. It's a big yikes factor right there. Oop, upward. Jeez. <laughs> this is so interesting. I don't know. It's like... Oh, God. Genuinely can't tell which way's up or which way's down. And it, it being so dark doesn't really help anything out, but... <laughs> Uh, roll. Um, maybe we gotta head down here? I can't tell. <laughs> it's like you're, I don't know, it's like trying to control yourself underwater or something. Oh, jeez. Okay. I think this is downward. Oh, no, that looks forward. Alright. Oh, jeez. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, let's try to head up here. Full fuel level critical. Uh oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Is there like a way to restock our fuel or what? I can't tell. I can't tell which way is up or which way is down, so how am I going to know how to repair the fuel gauge? <laughs> Alright, so this is the way we came up if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so we'll just head down. Alright, so we're back to the satellite. Now here's something like staticky going on, which leads me to believe something's still broken. I just can't find where the broken portion of the satellite is at. Huh. Is that a fuel reserve, <laughs> by any chance? Um, this looks like we are running, running low. Jeez. Can I turn the brightness up? <laughs> um, alright, let's see. Nothing over here, nothing over here. Uh-oh. So this way is where we came up, right? Like, 
like we floated up there <laughs> and then we came down here so uh, I don't know I'm running very low on fuel so I don't know what will happen when I run out but the satellites down here and that's I guess the uh, the main priority but I just can't tell where it's busted at like I can hear it being busted but I just can't find is it inside Oop, we're going up the wrong way go up go up go up all right oh there it is there it is there it is okay cool it was inside the satellite the whole time that's fine jeez these controls it's like they're difficult but very fun at the same time uh, let's lock on and let's repair the satellite oh jeez repair let's get this repair going there we go velocity matched alright training simulation complete cool uh, alright so now we go back up I suppose back down to this area which is upward <laughs> this is uh oh now we're going down we're going down we're going down mayday mayday all right all right let's head through here ow <laughs> all right cool got it all right so we'll head up here and all right, looks like we're on our way out. Ouch. <laughs> that was painful. All right, cool. We're out of the zero-g section. Or I guess we're not out of the zero-g section, but out of the place where we need our suit. So yeah, let's just get, let's just hop on out of the suity boy and find our way out of here. I can't tell. Oh, up there. Come on. Are we able to hop up that high? I guess is the, the main question. It give us a good old jump. Nope. <laughs> Maybe I need my suit to get up there. Alright. Yeah, that's better with the flashlight. <laughs> Much better. Alright, cool. Let's head on out. Alright, so we got our first little training simulation out of the way. Uh, yeah, I'm very intrigued. <laughs> this game has piqued my interest, one might say. Alright, uh... Guess we'll talk to this guy? Nicely done. Of course, it's, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through big space, but just remember, you're training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I put so much time into training you, got it? Alright. Oh. We already went through all that. Alright, so it looks like we're going up to the observatory, which I do remember seeing a sign for. Alright, it's over in this direction. Very cool. Music in this game is very nice, too definitely sets sets the mood it feels like feels like you're at home which I guess this is this guy's home uh, where do we go up from here is this the observatory oh no that looks like the observatory I was just chilling on some sort of sack trying to find my way out <laughs> all right uh, cool is this how Hey, it's my favorite astronaut! To launch day at last, huh buddy? It's the Translator Tools inaugural flight too. I'm excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any nomai, nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh jeez, don't break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since you were a hatchling. I can't wait to see your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You s here to see the new Nomai statue? Of course. Heh. <laughs> I knew you'd want to see it before you headed off. Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display today. 
amazing, isn't it? Makes me wish we could see what the real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. <laughs> fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez, I get a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself and get out there, okay? Dude, I'm so bad at reading. So I guess we're a, um, alien. So that's cool. Uh, this is a remarkably intact statue as Cove carved by the Nomai, uh, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. This statue provides us with our most detailed look at yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of its antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found almost on every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know what a Nomai... I couldn't tell a Nomai from a Flexenderf. Um, Alright, so let's find Hazelnorf. Hazelhorn? Don't know where he is. This is him? Yeah, Hornfels, that's what his name was. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations, and the local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator, too. I confess, I've been all giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what is your plan once you're into space? Uh, I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start something small. I don't know. I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I want to meet up. I think I'm just going to wing it. Planning to follow in the footsteps of Feldsvarth, the great Outer Wilds Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like all that's left is send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. <laughs> I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent, you'll be needing the launch codes then. Here you are. Best get off the ground. Slate makes it any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Launch codes. I guess... Cool. So is this our map? Oh wow. <laughs> We're going all the way out to the solar system. I don't know where... Where I'm going in my space. My little space exploration. But... I don't know. I guess I'm just going out there. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter where I go. Unless there's like an objective. But, uh, alright, let's head back down to the, uh, to the little spawn area where we started to go head out into space. I'm really excited, um, just to explore the world. Oh god. That's not, uh, natural. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's happening? It's just like replaying all my my day. Interesting. Um alright. Well it's nighttime now. So there's that. Uh Hey, so did you did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? The statue was the statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, that statue was doing... What? So it opens its eyes and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around you? You mean like a hallucination? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? No, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? Hornfells tried to everything to get that statue's eye to open. Nothing like this has ever happened to him. I don't know why... I don't think you're going to get any answers from that museum statue, but Gabro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know what, which island they're on, though. Maybe they'll be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use your translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? 
Good luck and safe fly. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, let's see if we take fall damage. Whee! <laughs> Turns out we take fall damage. <laughs> Yikes. Um, oh jeez. What's gonna happen here? We're getting, we're getting our memories back. <laughs> jeez. Okay, fall damage is very real in the outer wilds. Oh, now we're back at the... Oh, this got us back to where we needed to go, so that's cool. Hey, you ready to get off the things, this thing off the ground? Ship's all fueled and ready to go. Did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's a tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before launch, but if you ask, it still makes me a bit jumpy. Okay, well, I guess that was just a little shortcut to get to back to the launch pad. Hold up, you're going to want to get the launch codes from the observatory first. I already have them from the observatory, remember? Huh? Must be inhaling more fumes than I realized. That stuff is potent. Well, if you got the codes, I'm not going to stomp you. Good luck, and take care of that ship. Huh. So, maybe when I died, it, like, reset the timeline or something? I don't really know. <laughs> but, uh, alright. Where do we go? Oh, out here. Very cool. Alright. So, if that training simulation was anything to go by, this is going to be difficult to uh, control. Alright. Um... Let's view the map. The guy said something about going to Giant's Deep. So, I guess we'll go there. See what happens. Um, Alright, we'll lift off. Cockpit view. Uh, Alright, let's, let's lift off, ladies and gentlemen. Seems quite a bit easier to uh, control than the um, than the simulation one, so that's good. Um, I guess going in first por person is a little bit easier to manage. And there, wow! I guess we're already all the way off that planet. So let's see. Um, I don't want to engage autopilot, but wow, this is. This is interesting. Then we got the sun right there. Huh. Oh, it looks like we're coming in hot to Giant's Deep. Um. Uh oh. Alright. Coming in hot. It's... How do we get on? What's the signal scope? I guess we gotta match the velocity to the planet. Makes sense. Jeez, this is hard. Um, alright, what about the scout launcher? What's that mean? We're coming in. Take a snapshot. Sure. Oh wow. Looks like, got us. oh, we're on the atmosphere. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Looks, fly up. We don't want to land in the ocean. Oh, we landed in the ocean. Um, Alright, let's try to find a place to land on, I guess. Oh jeez, we're coming in hot. Oof, oh god. Oh gosh, this is, this is, just got difficult to control. Alright, let's go into landing mode. Uh, okay. <laughs> we landed. That seems a bit, uh, I don't know. <laughs> seems a little bit difficult to, uh, land, but, um, alright, so now we're on giant steep. Uh, ouch. Looks like we bit, took a bit of fall damage there. And, um, I guess we'll explore what this means on Giant Steep. See what we can find here in the next episode. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I do think this is a game that I'm going to be playing for a while. Because this is a lot of fun, uh, so far at least. So, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.